So when I started to investigate the literature on pain, what I have found is that um, there's an opportunity to target uh, inflammation, specifically neuroinflammation, for treatment. But then I realized that drugs that we take don't really reach those areas uh, in the right time or in the right amount. And I was already uh, doing nanotechnology for drug delivery and imaging, so I've decided to create pain nanomedicine. medicine And that design actually followed my own experience. I was aware that as you go through a day, your pain goes up and down, it changes throughout your body. So maybe your shoulder hurts a little bit more today and your knee a little less. So I envisioned and I, that perfect pain medicine will follow that. So you'll get in areas of the body that hurt more as much drug as you need to or less. And when we add imaging on top of it, which I was already doing, we'll be able to tell where, where it got, how much it got there, how long it stayed there, and, and also ultimately the imaging will tell us whether it worked. So you can look at the person throughout the day of their life and adjust, and the treatment will adjust itself or the clinician will. So that became Theranostic Pain Nanomedicine. Medicine. Uh, we were very fortunate that the uh, National Institute of Drugs of Abuse uh, funded us. I was funded through CBRA program. And um, uh, we were very fortunate, they were very welcoming to this idea. And the reason they were interested is that I proposed that this approach, which use non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or natural products which are non-addictive, and this approach will really modulate the immune system in the right way, we could prevent the need for opioids post-surgery or post-trauma. So that's in a nutshell what my work has been. I've been presenting at American Pain Society for the last several meetings. We always have posters, uh, or I gave a talk yesterday. What I was always amazed is that APS was incredibly welcoming to this absolutely out there idea. And actually, I owe APS my own funding. I had no idea NIDA had these programs. So I actually learned about it in one of the NIH sessions. I basically came in and said, how do I get funded for this unusual project that we have that we've been struggling? And they directed me to NIDA. So at that point, I only had funding from other institutes. They were not necessarily focused on pain. So APS has profound impact on my career and my life. That's what APS can do, really integrate us into a, a solid group where people work with each other rather than compete with each other. And I've seen a lot of that happen in APS, so I've always felt very welcome.